Welcome to Satisfactory Update 3. My name is Nilos and this is episode 11 of our Let's Play. So after this uh, beautiful build we did of uh, whoops, uh, of reinforced iron crates, it is time for us to move on with 60 iron, uh, 60 iron ore inbound to make as many rotors as we can. Now this is unfortunately not as pretty a build as far as I can tell. I haven't really figured it out at least, but uh, let's uh, work on it together and then maybe we'll figure it out. Because if we look at this one, it takes 45 in, 20 here, plus 25 here. So that's 45 in total, generating four output. Now, if I want to scale this up so that it gets five output, that means it's balanced with the other one. Then it's times 1.25, and this will consume slightly less than, uh, than 60. If I, however, want to consume all those 60, then it'll produce 5.33-ish. And that's also weird. So we are going to try to do one that is input balanced or input aligned. That means it consumes all 60. That means all of this gets converted into iron rods. Now then we want to take all of this one and hold on here. Four ninth of this one. Leave it as as iron rods and then take five ninths plus these two of course, I can't do five nines, but I'm, I can try it, right? Uh, so that's uh, going to be the main challenge. This one, the way I do five nines is simply ignore it. Mm. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> right. I'm simply going to say this one goes in and then it splits evenly. Then one of them will probably... This one is now ready. Iron Rod's coming out happy. It's going to take 15 plus, let's say, half of that one. So it goes 22.5 once it splits evenly between this side and this side. 22.5, it goes in. That means over time, it'll be starving. This will work with this, but I will scale it up. I'll actually get it into two different ones. Um, so it'll be starving, and that's a problem. So what we now need to do is we need to take this one merges into here and uh, let's see let's see let's see that's a merger that one so i get initially a half of that one that's seven and a half plus 15 plus 15. that's 37.5 that goes into and therefore also out of the splitter There, so 13 and a, uh, 37 and a half coming out. That needs to be split, and 37 and a half split into, unfortunately, poorly. Mm, yeah, that's actually, actually maybe I don't need to split this one. Oh, this one needs to be split absolutely, but this can go. This the remainder of this can go into directly in here that goes into one location now these two as they merge together they probably should merge over on on this tile as, instead and i know some would say use control to that i don't oh hold on that's gonna be merging them together and that's really not what i wanted is it i think i need to move this yeah, hold on. Kill that. Because this one will now split. Okay, we gotta be uh, a bit careful here. So this one goes in. Splits into two. This one goes in here. From here to here. And splits into two. Then now this should be and it'll balance eventually being 15 out 10 moves in five goes that way it's 15 goes in 10 goes out five goes that way and 10 go, 10 in combined goes out that'll give me 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus whatever is this one is doing i'll do that one and then this one i can scale towards seven oh um how much do i want I'm gonna get 120 from the other one. I just want 10 here. Why can I not do that? 
Now, if I only want 10, then I'm actually just constraining it so hard that these 15 that comes out, only a tiny bit will go in here. I like that. I like it. I think. Maybe. Maybe it'll work. We're going to have another issue when we get managed output, but let's uh, cross that bridge when we get there. All right, so this is producing 40. This is producing 40. This is producing 40. And this one is producing... Um, it's actually consuming... It's producing 10. That means I have... Now it's actually got to be more. 15. That's 15E. So if you consume 15, let's uh, let's try it with 20. That means it's at 50% speed, right? So if I'm consuming 20, then I have 140 outbound. That means half of it goes in here. That's 37 that way. No, sorry, that's 7.5 plus 15. That's 22.5. That's not enough. If this one actually has to be less. Less it has to be less. Very much less. The problem with this is, as I combine these three, they become impossible to combine reasonably because this is more than the mark 2 belt we have available so i have to somehow balance it in a different way i think it can be done uh, it's going to take a lot of time to balance i will merge this one this is the one that only produces 10, plus that one. That's now 50. Then I will over here merge again. Um, nope, merge that one. I'll merge 40. If I merge 40 in here, then I get 80, and that's too much in one belt. So I'm going to get a splitter so that this one can go in. Some of it, we don't know exactly how much, will go that way. Some will go that way. That means now we have somewhere between 40 and 80 coming out here and somewhere between 50, this 50, and 90 coming out here. So over time, these two will balance so that it goes 5 ninths that way, 4 ninths that way, getting a perfect balance. Now, the, nif the difficult part comes actually now because now I need to build two of these and I just realized that I'm not going to be able to place them on this line because it's simply too close to this because I'm going to have a line coming in here no you know what I it might actually almost be able to almost key word here so if I look at this if I'm on this line and then go that one yes now this is equal, but it has to be a Mark II belt. So actually also an advantage of not doing too many. And I'm going to build one more. And these will now be appropriately scaled down. Is that correct? I think it is. Yeah, it looks correct. And this is where the challenge comes in. How am I going to build something there? Mm. Well, it can be done. It's not going to be easy, but I think it can be done. We're going to be jamming some things in here um, it'll have to be a splitter I know this one is if I do this and then I do okay so it has to be further back Oof. This is tough. But is this the right place? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the right place. So we can trust that one and go one step back. There, there, there. I'll take these out before anyone notices that it's clipping. Then I'm going to take that one. Beautiful inbound. Beautiful. Yeah, stab bit of air stabbing just to show them who's boss and I'll do the same at this location and it starts from here
and then we can take from this location to that location. I can take from this one over here. Oh. This is a good way to get some things in that you didn't really think you could fit it in here. And that's going to be from here. It goes to... Uh, this might actually be a location where it makes sense to do this one. Because at this point I can do that. Oh. It's the wrong one. It had to be aligned. Not the middle, but that one. Yep. And up. And from this one, and in. There. Now it is a bit cramped, uh, but I like it. I, I think I like it, I think. Uh, so this one <clears throat> is going to make rotors. Now they're not going to be working at this speed. They're going to be working at significantly less. If I go like 60%, mm, that's 2.4. That's not enough. 2.4. That's going to be... That's to be 66 or 67%. Yeah, that's awful. But it's kind of... That is kind of what I have to be... What I have to do it. That one. And... 67 that should be consuming all materials we have available at perfect ratio once it stabilizes i hope <laughs> i hope now do we have the next little conundrum here um that's actually going to be first we've merged these two inbound and they should be merged on even ground here yeah so this one goes in this one goes inbound. And at this point, I am going to take a splitter where this one goes into the box of storage. Box of storageness. Yeah, that's the box of storage. And the other belt goes over here and like that one somehow they become embroiled in this i don't have i don't have the answer right now but we'll get the answer once the whole thing is up and up and running but i think this might be it Oof. now it's also going to destroy our power which is a different matter a matter not taken lightly we do miss the smelting part though so let's get the smelting part in i'll make it I'll make it close that one and that one. It will be split here. From that one to there. That one, this one. It's all the way over to bound. I am just, I love building these kind of things, but I'm also always oops, kind of worried that something is forgotten some kind of minute detail and maybe you're sitting there hammering away in the comment section already notifying me of all the mistakes i've done don't you worry i might find them eventually and if i don't if i don't find them honestly they can't be that bad if, uh, if they're not like screaming at me how bad the mistakes are then you know what they they're gonna we can live with them so that's uh, 30 into that one and Oh, yeah, and while building belts, I'm sorry if anyone gets a bit of a vertigo. Uh, it's not intended. On the other hand, it's also kind of one of those things where I want to build it in a speedy manner so that it can move on to greater things or newer things afterwards. So that comes from here and go in there. No clippy? No clippy. It's pretty simple. Oh, no, it's already... Oh, okay, that's maybe a bit too early to do that. Uh, hold on. Let me just uh, take this one out. I want to make sure that we have things powered before we go. We go on. That one goes into this corner. Actually, why, am, why is it going into this corner? I can see why this one would go into that corner. But then it should be going to 
here to get to that one, and here to get to that one. That's the first part. And now I need to feed these four. I can I can hook it up to the middle there. That's gonna be one, two, and then onwards to the next. At this point I need to feed five, so that's less good. One, two, and onwards. This one goes to that one, and and onwards. Okay, I think that's the one side of it. Let's do the other side. Damn, I love that jumping. So from here, this one goes to middle. That one's hooked up and that one's hooked up. Looks like these are either not hooked up or don't have a recipe since they're blinking red at this point. That one, now these are going into Uh, actually, that's incorrect. That goes to that one. That goes to that one. And this one goes up. Something like this one. And goes in there. I know it's... It's actually okay. And let's see what the problem is over here. Might be these are... No? What seems to be the major malfunction then? There were some that are blinking red. This one's blinking red. Ah, it was it wasn't set, so that was actually a genuine problem. That one, not set either. And this one, I think I've set all of it, but ultimately this is a fine way to figure out if we've set everything. Should I build a little one of these to monitor? I think that's always a good idea to use these for monitoring. Not always, but you know what I mean. You can get a pretty good grasp of seeing if there are belts missing. So, working through slowly, slowly, slowly through this. 60 comes in, 30 on each of these. 30 outbound goes into 15, 15, 15, 15. So far, everyone is on board with us, right? Now, out of this one comes 15 iron rods. Those will go in here. They will either go forward or that way. Currently, it's splitting 50-50, so it's going to be 7.5 forward, 7.5 that way. Likewise, this one, 7.5 forward, 7.5 this way. That means this one gets too much, and these two get too little. Once this one is stacked all the way up to 100, then it will backlog these, and then it will go fall into the rhythm so that one third goes each way. No problem. The more problematic part, I think... These are yellow, so they're not getting anything. I think I'm missing a belt here. Yeah, it did look like I was missing a belt. And I was. But that doesn't seem to be the only belt I'm missing. Nope, it does not. And not even there. Yeah. Okay. The whole thing here is that over time, it'll balance out. But it won't, balance, it won't be performing correctly in the beginning. It'll simply not get enough. This one, but it will get something. Except it doesn't look like it. No, it's not, because these ones have been idle, because I did not make any Mark II belts. Too busy doing other stuff to make Mark II belts for this. Here they come. I don't want to jam things in. Now, what I'm getting out here is, let's say that uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get up here. Yeah, we can. Okay. Oof. Uh, the troublesome one is this one, I guess. No, it's that one. So this one produces nothing, it seems. Why are you not producing anything? A few errors here and there. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I'll, I'll accept that. There are a few errors. <clears throat> this is actually this is the troublesome one. This is going to produce 40, and those will be split 20 on either side. That means this one gets 60, and this one gets 20 plus 40 plus 10. 
that's a total number of yeah 70 so if we um if we look at it if we look at this one will now get 70 70 screws this one gets 60 screws that will eventually now we're talking like an hour or so um uh, mean that this one gets too much that'll backlog a bit and that'll backlog here so that more goes that way and it'll be balanced out so that instead of 60 plus 70 it'll be more like 65 each 65 each that's going to be 130 and that's pretty close to ideal ratio and if you look at this this should be consuming this is consuming 66 7 so what if i do 65 here i do 65 on this one as well that is going to be the maximum that means i will get output 5.2 of these Ooh, we're building we're building now next challenge is getting stuff into these two um since they are on the same line one has to go above and one has to go below that's easy and this one just has to figure out a way to be there eventually that means i am going to build a splitter here that's simple and i don't think i want a splitter at this uh, yeah let's do a splitter here and i mean it's not necessary but it's good practice i believe and i'll put one two three and then i'm almost did, did was that just my beautiful power that died yeah was that that was the power died i think it's because we we're exceeding uh, i wanted this one to build while we were doing this and that's sad What if we do it in a different way? That one comes in here. One, two. Yeah. Then this one. Could also be done. And then the question is just how do we get it up there? Let's Yeah. That'll be actually just you know, that's actually a super easy way of doing it. Nice. Yeah, okay. So these two belts share the same. Nothing problematic about it, actually. The only problematic part is how do we get this one in there? Because that kind of wants to go through the same things. I can slide it through or I can go up. This is unfortunately so close that I can't really... There is no room for this part, no. So my only option is kind of... Well. I don't like it clipping. It's probably going to be clipping a bit. We could also just make it Nine. Yeah. And build it on top. That one goes up to this one and then it goes into that one. Now what I need to do, I think, is actually stop. I need to deconstruct this one. And I, oh, not deconstruct it, but actually stop it. And I need to stop that one, the power line at least. That's the power line. 
there. That'll give me 30 additional or 60 additional power. Plus, it should eventually stop. Uh, oh, it it started again. Interesting. Okay. Ah, interesting. Okay. Didn't even know it did that. This one goes here. And this one goes here. Interesting, actually, that does... That one goes here. And I think I have everything. That one comes up here. All I need is power for these two. Well, that's something. That's something unpopular. That one, that one, and some actual recipes that make sense. I'd like to get some smart plating. It's not going to be super fast. It's actually going to be super slow. But um, the idea here is this is just one of those that just has to go. Has to continue. I will just take a look at it. What if... No, I, I really wanted to just feed it myself. But I want to see that it's performing. Now, the thing is, it's only going to get half of the production here. So this one's producing five. That means two and a half goes this way. I don't want to send all of it this way. But doesn't that also mean that I don't really need this one to work at full speed? I can work this at 67 speed. Uh, no, less 60 speed. Uh, 65? Yeah, 65 speed. At 65 speed, it uses a lot less power. Let's see, it's using 50 now. 65, that uses... We don't know until it actually starts doing something. Are we not getting any rotors over here? Why are we not getting rotors? Seems odd. Oh, there it is. There is a rotor. Boop. That'll produce 1.3 and it'll use half the power. So by scaling it down by a third, we use half the power. So anytime you can scale down the consumption that way. And look at that. Ta-da! We have the first two smart plating. It's not a lot, but it's something. And we just need to produce 50 of those. That means this is the perfect time for us to end. We have completed the rotor build. We've completed the smart plating build. What we need to do now is go out into the world, explore some things, get some more power. And when we come back, we can build the space elevator, take these at least 50 that has been created, and launch it to unlock tier five, three and four. That's going to be awesome. All right, that's uh, that's well t uh, timed and we have tortured and have to stop these, but they're not important at this moment. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. Until then, as always, stay effective.